All right, you guys. So, yeah, I am back once again with another video. Uh, your boy Antares Lock, aka Black Dash. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Black Dash eight one three. Uh, check me out. Um, I'm here catching up on some things that I missed when I didn't have a channel. Um, about the Bucks. Um, one thing that I really wanted to go over was the draft picks that we have. Um, I think these draft picks that we picked this past uh, year, or 2017. NFL draft uh, are pieces that are going to make us a lot better than what we were last year. That's the reason why I continue to say that we are going to the playoffs because these pieces that we uh, got this year, most of them, they're going to make a lot of a lot of noise. Um, so, I mean, I don't expect for these rookies to come out here and just be Pro Bowlers the first year, but I feel like they'll come in and play huge roles on this team that we already have that's already coming together. So, um, I ain't gonna lie, before I even start this, the first few, um, going into the draft, I wanted us to get a lot of defensive players. I wanted us to start that out because our defense didn't play very bad, but there were some games where they could have played a little bit better, you know, against the Cowboys, um, the Raiders, um, a few of those games, I think if they would have played just a little better, um, those games could have, we could have closed those games and won them. So, um, also the Saints as well in the Superdome, which is a very hard team to play while they're home, especially with Drew Brees. But, um, but anyway, when I seen the pieces that we got, um, I see that that was a very, very big, big improvement that we made. I see what Jason Light and uh, Dirt Cutter is doing. Also Mike Smith with these picks that they made. So, um, but round one, obviously we got OJ Howard, um, you know, tight end from Alabama. About six six two fifty, it runs a four five forty. Um, so, um, what I know about this guy obviously is the big game that he played in the BCS bowl game. Um, he played big both games, both games against Clemson. He played very very well. So it shows that he comes up and he plays very good when the time is right, uh, especially in very big games. So that's a good thing. Um, not only is he a very good receiving tight end, but he's also a great blocker. Um, he can he's the, he can give you a lot of great impact blocks, and that's a great thing to have. If we have him on one end and Cameron Bray, um, that's a duo that is going to be hard to stop. Knowing that we have Mike Evans as well and Deshaun Jackson, so I really feel like um, that was a very key pickup. Now I'm, I don't think he was supposed to drop to us. I think he was supposed to be a little earlier, but he did so. I can see why they picked him when they did. So that was a huge, huge pickup um, for the offense. Round two, we got Justin Evans from Texas A&M. He's a safety. Um, he's he's about six foot, about two hundred pounds. Um, he's not very, very big, but he's a big tackler, which is huge. I mean, he's a person that goes and makes big tackles. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, against um. Alabama a couple years ago, he was the one that made the huge tackle against uh, Derrick Henry. Um, you guys can look it up on YouTube. I'm sure it's up there somewhere. Um, he came in and stuck his nose in, and he came and made that tackle. So it was a huge tackle from a safety from the safety position. So that's very very huge um, for somebody uh, with his frame, and that tells you that he's a big he's a big tackler. Like he sticks his nose in. So, but also what comes with that is this guy can take take risk. So. When you're trying to get the big tackle, sometimes you may not get that big tackle, and sometimes you may lose a few yards on it. But I would rather have somebody that is going to come in and take that, try to get that big tackle, than somebody that's not going to try to come in and make the tackle at all. So, um, but again, um, I would like for him to be in a room with Chris Conte, um, Keith Tanby, you know, and a few of the other guys we've got. Um, so he can learn more of the system and he'll play a huge part as well. And I think he can may play a little bit of kick return as well, a punt return and do a little bit of special team. So um that was a good pickup second round. Um and also like I said, I want us to get some defensive players. So that was huge for us to grab him as well on the defensive side, and I was very excited about that as well. Um third round, we got Chris Godwin or Goodwin, um, out of Penn State. Six one two oh nine. Um, to me, to be honest with you, this is the steal of all picks because this guy is, he's going to get a lot of single looks. I mean, you got Mike Evans, 
We got Deshaun Jackson. We have Cameron Brake and O.J. Howard. So we come out there with three wides and a tight end and a running back. Um, you choose to double Mike Evans or you choose to double uh, Deshaun Jackson. You know, Godwin is going to get a lot of looks, and he's under underrated right now um, to me. People believe that he's underrated being the fact that he was in the third round. So um, he had a huge game against USC, huge game in the Rose Bowl, over 150 yards with two touchdowns. So this guy is going to be a huge deal. Not only that, I read up that he works good with scrambling QBs. So basically he would, he worked, he would work very well with Jameis, which is very, very good. So um, this is a major steal, man. Um, I think that this guy is going to creep up on a lot of people, and he's going to show – a lot of noise later on in the season once, he, once you know they start to try to double Evans or Deshaun starts to get a lot of play or OJ Howard starts to get a lot of attention or Cameron Bray. So um, that's very huge, man. Um, to be honest with you, uh, with you guys, I think that he will, um, he is going to get, he'll, I think he's going to line up on the outside of Deshaun Jackson sometimes in the offense. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he do because he's 6'1", 210. Like, this dude is is pretty big, you know what I mean? So, I think he'll line up on the outside sometimes. Plus, he runs a 4 4 one So, this dude is fast. So, um, that's a great steal, man, in the third round. Honestly, he could have easily been maybe a late first round, maybe mid-second round pick, and we got him in round three. So, I really, really like that pick. Um, Okay, third round, we got Kendall Beckwith. You know, running. Uh, I'm sorry, not running back. Uh, linebacker out of LSU, uh, 6'2", between 240, 240 and 245. Um, he tore his ACL last year, um, but from what I've seen, um, he played very well. You know, the year before, I think he kind of can play. Uh, he's flexible between the four three and three four defense. He kind of played middle linebacker a little bit. Also, I think he played when Quan was there. So I think the difference, the thing with him is, you're getting that chemistry. You know, when he was with L him and him and Quan was at LSU, you're getting chemistry. Now he can go to Quan and teach him a lot about the defense, and he can come in and possibly, you know, get a lot of playing time, even start, you know, later on in the season when he's fully healthy. But, um, you know, I'm a huge SEC fan, and I know that the SEC players, they come into the league ready. You know, every game in the SEC is like an NFL game week to week in that conference. So I really feel like he'll come in ready to go. Um, if he can learn his defense very fast, I wouldn't be shocked if we see him in Dale Smith's spot um, on the outside linebacker spot with uh, Quan in the middle, Levante on the up opposite side, or maybe they may switch Quan to the outside and put him in the middle. But um, we have a long season that we'll see um, if that happens. But I would expect for him to hopefully make some noise you know, uh, later on in the season when he's fully healthy. Round five, we got Jeremy Nichols you know, out of Boise State. One running back. One thing I'm no I've noticed about um running backs at Boise State is they're coming out with some decent running backs. I mean, obviously we have one. Um Jay Ajayi is the other one. Um I think he had at least two games over two hundred yards last year. So um they're coming out with a, a good amount of running backs right now. Like I'm really liking that. And um from what I see, uh he's five nine, around two ten, two two hundred and fifteen pounds. Um, he's very similar to Doug Martin, which is great for us. I mean, because he's the kind of person that, you know, we have Doug Martin out for four games, or if he gets, you know, injured, this guy can come and play, you know, maybe some key roles as, as quick as he learns his offense. So um, I think that's a huge piece for us. Also, he can catch very well. He's a receiving back. Um, I've seen he had over 50 catches and sit over five touchdowns, you know, 2015 season, I believe it's sophomore season. Um, and I think that same season, um, they had a they had a decent Boise State was pretty good. So um, I think that he would be a huge huge pickup once he learns the offense. I think that's the thing about late draft picks is they got to see how these guys learn the offense and 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 defense and see what they can do to make huge impacts with this team that they're gonna they're gonna be with. So um, like I said, he's very similar to Doug Martin. We got him a little later. I like that pick because he's a mirror. He's a he's a split, like a he's a spitting image of Doug Martin. That's perfect for us and our offense and what Dirk Cutter can do. Um, so that'll be great. Um, and finally, round round seven. I'm sorry if I do guy gets this guy uh, name messed up. 
But D tackle out of USC, Stevie Tukilovatu. <laughs> Somewhere around there. If somebody figures out how to say it, please tell me how to say it. Um, but out of Southern Cal, um, this guy is 6'1", 330. Um, he's a very good D tackle. Um, you know, again, like I said about Boise, they producing um, running backs. USC pr- produces great, great, great D linemen. Um, so Leonard Williams just came out of it a couple years ago. So um, I'm really liking this pick a little later. Um, he's gonna be, he's gonna be more so, you know, a person that lines up in rotation to Jerry McCoy, Chris Baker, and Golson, and all these other guys. Um, he can come in and. He can he can be a, he could be up on the, on the D line helping to stopping these big runs. So um, like I said, the same thing with him as far as learning the defense. Um, we can see more about him. Um, I have to check out his tape and see what he looks like at USC. But um, I really like that pick because we need depth on the D line. We really need that. I mean, if you look at the, what the Falcons did last year, they rotated their whole D line a lot, had their guys fresh all season. The Seahawks, who is where the Falcons got it from because defensive coordinator Dan Quinn went to Atlanta. It's the same thing with them. They rotate their D-line very, very well. And when they do that, these guys, the front seven, is very fresh throughout the whole season. So if you can have a fresh D-line throughout the whole season, get these guys in rotation, your defense plays much better on these key third downs, on these key stops that we need later on in the season, on these two-minute drives that we need stops at. So... Um, that was a great pickup. You know, it, it was more so, of course, um, he's flexible, but also a great person that can be in that rotation. If we can use that rotation, that would be extravagant to us. So I really, really like that. Um, so these picks that we made, they're very, very great picks. Um, like I said, man, I wanted to get a lot of defensive players. I think we did good getting a linebacker, a safety, and a D-tackle. Um, I think I wish we can get another corner, but maybe we'll attack that later on. Um, to replace Brent Grimes when his time when he retires, um, but we did good, man. And this offense looks very explosive. I mean, can you imagine um, Evans on one side, Deshaun on one side, and Chris Godwin on the other side? Mind you, with Cameron Brake and OJ Hart across the middle. So we're gonna do some damage, man. I mean, this is a pass happy league to be honest with you. So that made perfect sense for us to pick up all these pieces. It made perfect sense. So. Um, but again, like I said, man, it's still this whole, this, all these picks that we made, Chris Godwin is going to be a person that gets a lot of looks because everybody's paying attention to Mike Evans, you know, uh, Deshaun, all these other guys. He's going to be the one person that he starts to get these his route running down, perfect in all this. He routes up the slot corner. He's going to be going, like, gone because um, he's going to get a lot of looks, you know, so... I, I wouldn't be surprised if he shocks us with the numbers that he puts up. So, but yeah, guys, I mean, like I said, I think that the draft that we made puts us a step higher than 9 and 7. You know, I mean, like I said, 11 and 5, maybe 12 and 4, somewhere around there. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, like I said, um, that was a great, uh, a great, great draft that we did, we've done this past year, um, improving every year. I really like what Jason Light and Dirt Cut and Mike Smith are doing um, and have high expectations, as I've always said. Um, we will be in the playoffs, and hopefully these picks not only get us to the playoffs, but get us to the next round as we move forward. 